up, Noreen. Hey, JR, how you doing? Man, look at this traffic. I couldn't even make a left today. Hey, Shimei, hey, Julie. Hey, Vicky. First time he was first. I sent you something in the mail today, Nori. <coughs> you might find it ironic and funny. Hey, Elmer. I don't know why there's some. It must be something going on up on the road. Got to take the long way around. Ah. Robin, Maybe hello to you. I picked that eggplant tonight. I'm going to try to do the eggplant parmesan this evening.
What are you doing? Hanging around? Good, good, yeah. Just a break. Oh, you on a break? Okay. Yeah. I didn't recognize you without your yeah, shirt. Yeah, I forgot my t-shirt today. <laughs> All handsome and everything. <laughs> See you, Tony. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boy, this place is kind of lit today. See, we got some really puffy clouds up there. It's warm, it gets cool. Thank you, Nori. Look at those clouds. Puffy, what's up, Thomas? How you doing? Uh, see what's going on back here. Amazingly quiet back here, spooky quiet. Hmm. There's a break in the fence there. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't last long. They busted that section right in or they unlocked it. Well, Trog, I don't sit in judgment of anybody, you know, and, you know, I think we just, it's my nature. When somebody asks, I give. I don't really put too much time to analyzing it. It's probably my mistake, but it's just, I'm cut from a different cloth. I've had people share with me when I didn't have much, so... Ooh, dramatic clouds, that's what it is. Boy, it's really quiet up here, huh? What's this dope doing? I know. There's that beautiful two-door Lincoln. Look at that baby. Oh, would I love to restore that. Wow. It's like a 62... Hey Alex, how you doing? Gangster Lean. day 72 degrees puffy clouds 
football picks with Mr. Z this afternoon. We got them all in. Six more games coming up. They're on the office. No, they took the office down. Plus, I'm cutting down to one beer a night. So, uh, they, yeah, they took the office thing down, if you can believe it. I guess the city finally said, you know, the can't be taken up this corner. How's your car doing? It is a beautiful evening, Miss Thompson. today. Oh, um, hey Alvin, I don't do anything. See a nice sunset tonight. I don't know. I don't know. My whole neighborhood's filled with guys like that. Do, 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 do. Hey, Anne Marie. How's the car doing, Diane? Do, do, do. Alright. Make sure we're running on the battery here. It's fun. I guess Mr. Z's device is too hot already. You gotta be kidding me. Hold on a minute, guys. Let me take this case off. Well. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get back. Car is fine. Made new short video yesterday. Okay, you're cutting down to one ultra night. Yeah, I don't even have an ultra right now. I guess I'll just finish this Budweiser, the cores that I have in there. And just do it up. I was shocked to get an email from you. Yes, I know. Didn't I shock you? Still had the typical one sentence. <laughs> it's all about business. Be brief. Be brief. Be brief. How's everybody doing today? Blow that man's dust. Well, I was the guy. So many people are just so short on the horns these days. I just I don't know. Yeah, but I thought isn't that ironic? Noreen, the guy beyond meat, and he's a meat eater, a literal one. He's a fucking cannibal. Unbelievable. Fair to Midland. Uh, I'm a little bummed out. I got the state of California after me on income tax. And, you know, because I forgot to check the box that said uh, I have health insurance. And let me tell you, I pay a premium price for that. And they're trying to bill me as it's just like total bullshit. Uh, I already sent in the information once. It's like they didn't even get it. Uh, it just sucks. Uh, phew, God. I waste more of my time with administrative shit. And I did make the appointment today, uh, the 30th of September. I go to get fingerprinted, which moves my CCW along. He looks like a guy that's in that. He looks like a guy, Noreen, that should be in WWE. Or ultimate Cage Fighting and shit. I'm getting my hair done on Friday. I'll probably make a vid. My hair's done. I won't go. Yeah, I'd skip the video on that, Diane. You got to mix it up with some new stuff. <clears throat> Just my thought. Especially because your stylist won't go on uh, camera and stuff. But, you know, honey, if you want to do it, do it up. 
Let that camera roll. Let's get a little air in here. Oh, yeah. He looks like a guy out of WWE. He looks at his central casting for wrestling. What a pig. Right? Makes me think twice about uh, food handling practices and all that. What do we got here? We got one over here. Yeah, man down. What's going on with that? Like hairs. Well, if you like them, do it up, honey. I watch some channels that never show their face on camera. Uh, when we support those unwilling to support them, we take on more water on the life raft. Yeah, but Trog, I guess I'd rather go down as being a supportive person. Oh, it's cat. What's up, Alpha Wolf? Oh, I'm just loving this breeze that's coming through. We had a good bounce back day. I thought this would be a, probably a decent week coming up uh, for markets. So we had kind of a weak morning and turned that around. But uh, the Federal Reserve meeting starts tomorrow. So you know what's going to be coming on Wednesday. Another Federal Reserve interest rate hike. So car loans, uh, credit cards, all that crap all on. And if you're going to buy the I-bonds, buy them now. You'll get some of the 9.6% that's uh, being paid now. Because it might be like 5% next reset because of 4% base rate, which was great. And then like a 1%, it's just the way they calculate. What's up, Don? It's the way they calculate the uh, CPI. But 5% is still good for uh, six months free of state and local tax. Uh, he probably served our country. Yeah, who am I to, um, you know, I, um, I have thoughts on the entitlement society and things, but, uh, you know, when somebody's on the street and they ask me, it's very hard for me to say no uh, on that. It's just, just what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. History rewards those that overcome, not those of lambs. Yeah, I know. But can't uh, can't change can't change my spots. That's just the way it goes. You yeah, love the economic stuff. Thank you, Jake. It's going to be quiet for probably this week and next week. Uh, we might have a big bounce this week. Instead of going down now, we might get... Well, I wouldn't be surprised if we have another rally attempt here uh, to try to go back to the highs of uh, August. Wouldn't be surprised to me. Banker, I'm glad you're wearing that hoodie so much. Oh, I love this hoodie. It's a good between-season one. It's a good one to wear transitioning between uh, summer and fall it's, I don't know it looks like we could have out, out downpours at any moment here so I don't know sure it's the color of my eyes I, I reckon it is I reckon it is at that oh is this guy sleeping over here he was laying on the can what the hell he was doing I don't know. Uh, but things unravel very slowly. I think more and more people are realizing that we're uh, slowing down. And with the Federal Reserve bent on raising interest rates, it's likely going to further depress activity uh, here coming up. So it's, it's kind of a simple game. Interest rates are the enemy of stocks. Should the Fed just rip the band-aid off? They, well, remember, Bo, the Federal Reserve follows the market. And right now, the market is closer to 4%, and the Federal Reserve is a little behind the 30-day uh, uh, T-bill rates and stuff. The two years, 4% uh, now. So they're just, they're, to me, they're just playing catch-up.
Jake, there's, um, let me see if I got this figure correct here. I get the right thing. I screenshotted it. I had it on. Let me get my thing. Let me see that screenshot here. He's got something here. Here's the, uh, here's the pre-foreclosure bankruptcy data. The current homes in foreclosure and bankruptcy proceedings. Northridge 78, Sherman Oaks 104, Studio City 32, Encino 86, Tarzana 47, Woodland Hills 120, Beverly Hills 53, Westwood 73. Phoenix has 9,199 homes in foreclosure. Scottsdale 849. Las Vegas, 3,958 3, people are in foreclosure right now. Pre-bankruptcy, Miami, 5,991 people. And San Diego, 1,345. And that comes from Dre, Dre Tone on his uh, YouTube. So just in case you think... Just in case you think that... Um, housing is all hunky-dory and everything will be fine we don't hear any broker anymore on TikTok talking about how great the markets are and this is just a pause in the market right the thing this time is i don't think the trend is a rapid like v thing boom and then i think it's just a just a continuous slow uh, trickle off here and uh, death by a thousand cuts until we get a little later. Yeah, those numbers are high, aren't they? <clears throat> I mean, when you figure 10,000 homes in the Phoenix area and 4,000 homes in Las Vegas, that's already in foreclosure proceedings. That's not behind on uh, one or two mortgage payments. That's it. Yeah, I got burned out on the Queen's funeral three days ago. I was done with that. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Jake. Over standard. And this is the result. Yeah, Trog, because uh, if you're that insensitive to price, and I'll never forget as long as I live this stupid broker up in Washington State coming on and talking about we had a house listed in snow quamish or something like that for 999,000 and it went for like 290,000 over asking and I thought to myself this is so perfectly indicative of market peaks where people overbid whether it's for stocks whether it's for real estate whether it's for rare coins whether it's for baseball cards that ending craziness lunacy marks the end for a long time to come because I'll tell you this the difference between a mortgage rate at 3% and a mortgage rate at 6% okay is at 3% on the average price of a home you're looking at 20, $2,400 to $2,600 a month at 6% your work you're looking at 4100 to 4400 dollars a month. Now, that move on the average home knocks how many people out of the market. Okay? Because to earn that $4000 that you have to use to pay your mortgage, you have to earn $5800, $5200 pre-tax, pre-FICA to come up with that money. So that's $60,000 a year of your incoming revenue has to go to support your housing. Now the old days they would say 25% of your income should go to housing. Well, you know, you'd have to have a $240,000 income to support that type of uh, mortgage payment and still be within the 25% on that. So, you don't think that people are pinched in real estate right now? Remember, two thirds of the people that bought in the last year regret their purchase now. Okay. 
okay? Let me say that again. Two thousand, two, over two thirds of the people that bought their houses in the last year regret having made the purchase. All right, obviously, because they're underwater already. Now you may say, oh, you know, it'll come back. Well, traditionally it does come back. But when you look at the other things we have going on in the world today, it seems to me that the cost of money is going to be getting more expensive here. As we broke the long-term downtrend of 42 years of declining interest rates. Right? <clears throat> Let's see. I see a definite correction, and it's going to be pretty short drastic, but the market will correct itself in the long term. How you doing, Tia? The Fed is shooting at you. Of course they are. I always remember Ben Bernanke at the luncheon that they gave Milton Friedman the Nobel Prize winning economist. And Ben Bernanke's one that extensively studied the Great Depression and particularly the Federal Reserve's role in accelerating trends that were underway. Even though the market crashed in October market peaked on September 3rd, 1929. It reached its low with a crash on like November 13th or something like that. Okay. But statistics, May, June, July, August, were already showing a declining economy with declining industrial production, slowing sales, and inventory buildups. Okay. And Ben Bernanke said at that lunch for Milton Friedman, we apologize at the Federal Reserve. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> we won't make the same mistake again. And here we go on Wednesday at 11 a.m. West Coast time. They'll be making the next announcement of an interest rate increase. Our interest rate increases Friends of the stock market, no. BK, hey, how you doing, Sarah? Because for the first time in years, banks are now having to raise their deposit rates. And you can get a two-year government security, free of state and local tax interest, that's yielding 4% now. Okay. This provides competition for stocks and will continue to do so coming up my neighbor across paid 45 over here to get the house I was just telling you, yeah you threw that 45 grand out the window yep it's a waste All right so you move in haste you repent in leisure I expect in 2024 2025 to be able to pick up a place in Las Vegas for a song. Okay, that's my prediction. Between the stresses on cost of living, the water situation out there, the West kind of drying up, uh, and other factors, crime, overbuilt, oversaturated markets, you are definitely going to see an outward migration of people from Nevada again. And you can make you can make book on that. Happy Monday, Jamie. Good to see you. Okay. There's there's a long term prediction that I'm gonna make. Will the water trend reverse? Who knows? It might reverse this winter. Okay. But it worth bearing in mind as people's investment portfolios keep getting hammered the real estate market becomes sticky and illiquid now right less transactions the gears start to freeze up hey Ronnie the lubrication runs out of the system and things come to a screeching halt okay there's people that must sell their house okay there's people that need to move and absolutely have to force a sale. Yeah, take care, Diane. And that's what forces prices down in markets when 
people say, well, I don't have to sell. Yeah, you don't have to, but there are a lot of people that do need to sell. And they put the downward force on the market. And as interest rates grow up, people put turn more and more for the first time in two generations to actually putting monkey money in the bank. Money in the bank for the first time in years because deposit rates, money market rates are coming up. The Fed pushed interest rates down because the market interest rates collapsed due to the pandemic and declining demand at that time. Okay, but now to the point with the overstimulation of the economy, too much inventory. Uh, Ford came out after the close today and warned that they're having probably they're going to take another. It's going to be a billion dollar hit to the earnings because of supply glitches, and it just goes on and on and on. Okay. I think earnings are definitely going to be under uh, pressure and I think more companies will end up blowing up like Federal Express okay which is very important the Dow Jones transportation index is something that nobody ever talks about anymore okay but there's something called the Dow theory that a lot of people still follow that says that the Dow transportation average moves hand in hand with the Dow Jones industrial average if the Dow Jones Industrial Average moves to a new high, but the Dow Jones Transportation Index doesn't move to a new high, it's called divergence. And it's sometimes a symptom of a market top. Conversely, just last Friday, we had the Dow Jones Transportation Average hit a new 52-week low. So we're getting some divergence down there, too. Okay. <clears throat> If the Dow Jones, within the next month or so, makes a new 52-week low, it will be a confirmed, once again, bear market that's underway. Are seniors being squeezed out of their homes? I don't know, Trog, you know. But I wonder, in the space of a year, people that pay $1,200 to $1,500 a month to be in an apartment now have to cough up eighteen hundred to twenty two hundred dollars a month is it easy for them to get that incremental revenue hey Vatic Hill or is it a case where they don't even have a choice you just got to pay it or you know sign up for section 8 vouchers and subsidized government housing hey James We're now seeing the downside of years. Hello, North Carolina. We're now seeing the downside of years and years and years and years of low interest rates. Interest rates that drove people, hey, Justin, drove people to take incredible risks to push stocks up to the highest valuations in history, to push real estate up to the highest valuations in history. And now the carrying cost of those makes it more expensive to hold them. So incrementally less people are participating in the real estate market. Incrementally less people are participating in the stock market. Volume is drying up. We're recording some of the lowest volume of the last 52 weeks. Okay, so on recoveries, volume is supposed to be rising, not falling. What is Dodge? What is this? Uh, Dodge, Dodge giving their trucks and cars below is the yeah, way over stock. Seniors are having many are falling through the cracks. AARP. I'm not sure what AARP can do. Again, I think AARP is a glorified lobbying group that's well paid. Their board and their members padded themselves tremendously and they push Congress for more freebies right they're no different than other organizations that have lobbying arms that ask for more and more and more from the government so what are we going to do for seniors 
No doubt they'll do something, but I've not heard the pips squeak yet. I've really not heard any concerted noise from that quarter. Mainly because the pressure's not reached a critical mass yet. Right. We've not seen the visible hits to portfolios and things that make people sit up and take notice and alter their spending habits. Right. Because people have been conditioned, don't do anything, leave it alone. And this is the time in history that will prove the fallacy of that as a long-term investment strategy. Yeah, they don't do anything but take care of themselves. AARP is a joke. All right. It's, it's easy to start an organization and say, we represent seniors. They get the mailing list. Everybody at age 55 gets their AARP card. And what do you expect them to do? What's up, Timothy? What do you really expect they can do for you? All they can do is threaten Congress and say, you know what, seniors vote. So you best have a big fat ass raise on these social security checks, disability checks and all this shit. Got it? Ooh, ooh okay. Seniors are gonna rise up and make their number to representative and local politicians. Start getting mail at age 50, yeah. So the question is, if we take it to our logical conclusion, hey, D-Nice, we lobby Congress, the ARRP, and what do they ask Congress to do? Ah, uh, wait. They tell Congress it's becoming unaffordable. We're not hanging on. But demographically speaking, and economically speaking, and I hate to break it to you, seniors are some of the best situated people in America when it comes to having asset bases, paid off real estate. I'm talking particularly the baby boomer and Gen X people are sitting a lot better than Gen Y, Gen Z, Millennials, and people like that. So I really haven't heard too much in the way of complaining. Will it change? I don't know. We shouldn't have to ask questions. If we should know they and put them in that. Yeah, but again, I ask people all the time, there's the beautiful Lucky Beans. How you doing, babe? I like that mug you got today. Checking that out. What, and this is, this is how far we've come. This is the point I'm trying to demonstrate. In 1932, 1933, <clears throat> at least until April of 1933, we had no lobbying organizations. We had no association for seniors. We had no unemployment. We had no social security, no disability, no unemployment insurance, no workplace requirements of how many hours a week. Now look at what today our initial instinct is to tell Congress to do something. This is what I continuously try to pound on people. Did the government heard your plea and they acted with tremendous force, tremendous government programs every step of the way, introducing Medicare, uh, introducing the Townsend Act with Social Security, introducing unemployment insurance, disability insurance, food stamps, Section 8 housing. What more do you want them to do? Hey, Ronnie.
In my opinion, our government is fucking exhausted. We're now funding a war in Ukraine. God knows how many billions of military assets have gone into that. We now are committed to Taiwan. And now we got Nancy Pelosi over there rattling the saber in Armenia. You better do. Yeah, it's fine, Trog. I mean, I don't think there's any point of disagreement that government has done everything that they can possibly do. <laughs> like your history professor from hell, Lucky Beans. Hey, I catch a kickback from you on that. Yeah, it's the same. It's, you know, I don't care about that, Craig, but, uh, uh, you know they're in it, they're in it to enrich themselves. Okay, it's good to have that undercover of we're helping seniors. I can't think of anything that uh, you know they're they're not out here lobbying anybody. What's going on with all these big earthquakes lately? It's the end times. Hey Raptor, how you doing? Everybody must be all excited for the Wisconsin uh, Ohio State game coming up. Yeah, I hear you, Lucky Beans. You've been through the mill with your uh, with your treatments and things. So I just ask people, what more do you want the government to do? What more do you think they're capable of doing? There was a big earthquake in Mexico. I'm just trying to show you in a in a period of a hundred years of world history, we went from expecting our government to do nothing except defend our borders, enforce custom and excise taxes and tariffs for imports, and provide for defense for the nation. That's it. They weren't in the education department. Okay. And now look at where we stand today. We've got government and student loans, government and housing, government and medicine, government and education, right, government in the workplace. All trends come to an end. Yeah, exactly, Justin. I had, uh, not to single out Anton, I had Anton Smith in here. We need more government needs to do And I'm saying, what are you putting into it? Right? Think very carefully. You know, what's your net contribution to society that makes you so, uh, with such a loud voice, demand more? Oh, and everybody, oh, oh, tax the corporations or tax the rich. Well, the rich pay 90% of the income tax, and 10% of the people pay 90% of the income tax. I'd say they're pretty much doing their share. All right, and if you want to hurt job growth and the economy, yeah, just start raising corporate income taxes. All right? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Slugbug. But we've reached this point now. The other, the pendulum swung from 1932 to 2022. How much further can that pendulum swing? Well, we've seen there's no real money anymore, so we just monetize debt and create money. We say those shitty mortgages that were issued in 2008, we'll just, we'll take them all in. We'll issue new money to the banks, we'll monetize, we'll socialize that loss. And you guys just go on and keep privatizing profits and we'll take in all those shitty loans. Okay. And people wonder why education gets more expensive and medical care gets more expensive. And the cost of everything goes up. Because you're pumping in money that wasn't earned through the sweat of the brow. You're just pumping money in out of thin air. 
Uh, that's the side the government should not issue money to uh, people. Well, Justin, I'm just speaking about the actual realities of it. I'm not speaking about the morality. I'm just saying here's what's been created. How to go back, slug bug, you don't go back. Because the natural attenuation of this situation is that the government will see that there's only one way forward. And that's if they want to get elected. And they want to hold on to power or take over power. And that's to promise more, more, more to people. And create more funny money like the student loan, $10,000 forgiveness per person. Slap in the face to people that work their ass off, multiple jobs to pay their student loans. Hey, cute kitty kitty. Therefore, keep splitting the nation and driving wedges between people. Right. <clears throat> yeah, all the terrible loans, all the people that cheated, cheated on the payroll protection program. Took vacations, bought new trucks, bought new cars. Right. Didn't even have to repay the loan. So Slugbug, I think, did they say, screw it? We'll be like Venezuela, we'll just keep printing money, and, well, it is what it is. And we'll impoverish people just like Britain, millions of people are going to be in poverty this winter. Same deal. Because you're cheapening the money, what is it pounded, like a 20-year 20 20 year low? So when people come in, the Anton Smiths of the world, and say, you know, the government, we should be doing more, or this group should be doing more, or that group, it's very easy to say tax the rich. Corporations should pay more taxes. Corporations create jobs. Corporations take the risk that you don't take. Oil companies take the risk that you don't take by going out there and drilling and wildcatting paying tens of billions of dollars for reserves and hoping that they hoping that they pan out. So to expect a corporation to just pay more because you think that they should, you're not taking any of the risk. Right? These people want to tell you know, Starbucks, we need more money. You're not taking any of the risk. Go find a job elsewhere if you don't like it. <coughs> Right? But we've become, reached the crybaby point now. All right, so now Starbucks is pulling back and closing stores in America now because they don't want to deal with it. They'd rather just at the margin put more emphasis over in places like China that these situations will never happen and just close the door on the people that are complaining at uh, you know up in Buffalo and these places that they're not making the, they're not making the money it's not their job to provide you a living wage the market's telling you that you need to go do something else and they're all over the place there's tons of corporations like Starbucks McDonald's is one. Hey, kit and cat. Did McDonald's is one that's under constant pressure. All they hear about every day is what people should be paid in fast food. And California is having a law that's going to pay $22 an hour. And you want to talk about accelerating the move towards robotics and things? Elon Musk is exactly correct when he said in the future... There's going to be a huge employment issue. And he said to go, they're going to have to create a living wage or something like that. Well, good luck with that. A minimum guaranteed income. Good luck. <clears throat> yeah, Amazon scaling back because they're loaded to the gills. They have the usual Christmas shit coming in. And there's no room to put that crap by money. 
they know that it's going to be a little bit of a scaled back Christmas this year. And yet they double order things. One side believes all, one side believes all businesses should pay a little, one, uh, yeah. McDonald's has a real decision with the violence. They don't know what to do yet, probably. Yeah, they'll probably get the hell out. Just like Citadel Capital left, just like Boeing left, Caterpillar's left. McDonald's wants to get out of Oak Brook, Illinois. Yeah, it's Economics 101. But you know Jake says Chicago has been violent for a while, but do you think that Laurie Lightfoot, the mayor of Chicago, really understands how important economics is as a driver of wealth and, uh, and stability in a community? She you stand there on the railroad track as the McDonald's corporate headquarters pulls out Caterpillar, Citadel Capital, Boeing, bye. Clueless. When she should be hitting the panic button, getting on her knees and kissing the ass of these people, and understanding that this is this is what creates wealth in the city of Chicago. Uh, restaurants just uh, there, yeah, and it's not a trend that's going to improve, Kit and Cat, because as things turn more visibly down, more people will be empowered to be violent. Stores now have to invest in ways to protect inventory. Every time I go into a Rite Aid or a uh, a uh, CBS or a Walgreens, there's more shit behind plastic that you have to have somebody with a key open it up. They're clueless, Rio. So, in my opinion, and this is just my thought, like it or not, I don't give a shit. By 2024, the level of societal disruption on street level in urban areas is going to be unprecedented. Right? Because there's only a thin line of, uh, there's only a thin blue line. And there reaches a point where these people are so overwhelmed that they, you know, I didn't sign on for this. Yeah, I expect maybe one incident a day, but now we tell people that are being robbed in stores, I can't do a damn thing. Tell your insurance company and file a claim. So, now, Mr. and Mrs. Kitten Cat want to open a store in Chicago because maybe they're brain dead or something and they go to look up insurance and the insurance companies <laughs> but trust me the government will get into the insurance business like they already are now mortgage insurance and Fannie Mae's and Freddie Mac's right they'll have pooled insurance for high risk it'll cost people more money and the claims will bankrupt that and going to be some head cracking going exactly yeah I'm not sure well what's the fix when I ask people Rio bird the only answer I ever get for them before I drop the nuclear bomb on them is they say the government has to do more just totally oblivious to the fact that government doing more is what created this situation that we have today because we no longer have the backbone in society to tell people get off the drugs, get off the shit, get off of your ass and do something with your life. You're a burden on society. We've been all reprogrammed to think that it's our fault. It's society's fault for failure 
at street level here. We haven't done enough for people. Now we have Prop 26 and 27 that are going to be voted on here in November for sports gambling. So the big hook here to get people to vote for that, Prop 27, that will open it up to all the different companies and online, MGM, BetUSA, FanDuel, etc. Well, 10% of the revenue will earmark for homeless Nothing about the betting, just this is why you should vote for it because it'll be more money for homeless, uh, homeless. Can you imagine how much bigger a problem will be created out here now when the thundering herd comes to take advantage of that hundreds of millions of dollars of windfall taxes that come in that are going to be poor in hey, Jersey? <clears throat> yeah, of course they push college. Can you imagine that? <clears throat> that started when I was getting high school. And I had the idea, 20 or both smoking mirrors. It's bullshit, Cobra. It's, it's all bullshit. Okay? Keep feeding, keep subsidizing sloth, laziness, and you'll have plenty more of it to deal with. And they'll be busting the budgets like crazy. Because once you once you pour gasoline on that fire, you have to keep that fire raging with more and more and more money. What's up, Jody? Yeah, they're gone. Wouldn't you go to robotics, Craig? You want to talk about blue chip investment future when companies are able to displace millions of uh, service workers through automation? In the 1960s, if we wanted money, we'd get on our bikes, ride around looking for Yeah, that's right, Blondie. That's right. And again, I'm not a Scrooge. If people are in trouble, they should be helped. If people are disabled, society owes them, as a civilized society, to meet their needs here. But when we create a situation where we're pouring more money into something, we're going to have a bigger and bigger influx of people that determine, well, like here, I can get breakfast off the food truck here. I can go to lunch at St. Vincent de Paul Kitchen. I can go to dinner at the Preach and Feed, and at 10 o'clock at night, the Salvation Army donut truck comes around. All right, I get cash vouchers. What's the incentive? Take care of those. That's exactly why, Troglodyte. Taxes, as, as Chief Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes said when the internal revenue service was challenged in court and finally reached the supreme court the income tax he said taxes are the price we pay for a civilized society <laughs> but things aren't going to get better here by continuing to throw more hundreds of millions of dollars at the problem it's great for politicians because they tell you and me here in California, if we just earmark more money for this, it'll fix it. Man, has it ever been, has it ever worked? Is there any place besides for tough measures like Texas that actually has less of a population of uh, people depending on... Uh, <clears throat> Food for thought. Now we reach a place where Europe is cracking up. Layoffs, or they just had a big story in uh, Bloomberg today that layoffs are accelerating in, in Europe. Street life, what's up? Yeah, printing money out of thin air is never good. The consequences are amazing. That's less demand for American products. 
we know China's caving in, less demand for goods there. Where will be, thank you troglodyte, where, what will be the engine of growth? You can't say, well, interest rates gone down, no, wrong direction. Should I review the figures from today? Foreclosures and bankruptcies. North Ridge, 78 in foreclosure, pre-foreclosure. Sherman Oaks, 104 homes. Studio City, 32. Encino, 86. Tarzana, 47. Woodland Hills, 120. Beverly Hills, 53. Westwood, 173. Phoenix, Arizona, 9,199 homes in pre-foreclosure. Scottsdale, 849. Las Vegas, 3,958 homes in pre-foreclosure. And Miami, 5,991 homes. Does it seem to you that that's a market that will have the fire to move upward in prices? Do you really think that prices climb in the in the face of foreclosures when sales have to start to be forced? There's only so much time a bank is going to sit on something and then say, "Hey, our book is just too fat with this shit." Hey, Cindy, how you doing? And here will come the government again. Place is getting pretty kooky down here. I got to keep an eye on these birds down here. <clears throat> I mean, clearly to me, we're reaching a situation where, you know. You have to think about end times and things like that. Earthquake, violence, you know, as the four horsemen of the apocalypse come unveiled, the second one is war. Right? I mean, we can, we can see all the hallmarks. Now, many people through history have said that over thousands and thousands of years. But we can see a point now where there's just too damn many people in the world and too many of them are totally incapable incapable of supporting themselves. Winter food, the best decision to work on that. Exactly. Hope you're doing well, Street Life. Answer to the, uh, now their answer is to raise interest rate. It's a slippery slope. But I'm the only one that's ever told you Interest rates aren't going up because of inflation. Okay, Interest rates are going up because risk in the whole financial system worldwide is going up. For the first time in a long time, governments are looking like shaky places to put your money in. To wit, do you really want to oh, do you really want to own English sovereign debt with the need to spend money and the reduced industrial base and the reduced base of activity to make money. Hey, how you doing, Terry? The I-bonds are going to reset at 5% in November. It's still a really nice rate. Base rate 4% is beautiful. But the point is, in a lot of ways, inflation's coming down. We got $83 a barrel oil down from 130. Lumber prices flat on the ass copper because shit's slowing down. But the debt level stays high and has to be serviced. So Moody's, AAA, Moody's, Standard and Poor's, they rate all of these governments. 
you know, Argentina has 75% interest rates now. Do you want to put your money in there? Street life, 75%? Can you imagine the bank interest you can make down there to convert your money to Argentine pesos and put it in the bank? The only thing they can't guarantee you is that the spending power of what you pull out will be anywhere near what you put in. So why can't we see more Argentinians created here? Right? In Italy and, uh, you know, the, the fringe economies of Europe. that have difficulty funding the needs of their people. It's something to think about. Thank you, High Watch. $9.99 from High Watch. Thank you, High Watch. Always a wonderful supporter of the channel. Costa Rica not looking bad these days. <laughs> All those economies are, to a great extent, dependent on American retirees like Costa Rica, Belize, places with a decent amount of stability, and American retiree money to come in. But as portfolios continue to get blown up in retirement portfolios, you'll see people alter their spending habits, no matter where they are. It's inevitable. It's what people do. <clears throat> yeah, we're in a slow deflation period because it's not dawned on people why interest rates are really rising. Do you really think with oil prices down $50 a barrel, more and more apartments opening up with vacancies, more and more houses sitting on the market. You really think that there's the demand for money that's driving up interest rates from the private sector? There's a lot of corporations that might be scrambling to catch the last train out when interest rates are perceived to still be pretty low. But what nobody's mentioned at all is the rising risk of um, the whole financial system. And that, as interest rates rise here, that's what tells me more and more that something very different is going on here. Because interest rates should not be rising right now. They should be fo following commodity prices downward, but they're not. Argentine return in 69 year I'm rolling with and compounding where I can really pull it out. Yeah, good luck to you, Tio. You'll be able to you'll be able to feed a mouse. You feed a lion going in and then you feed a lion then you feed a mouse coming out. So you used to say in China. Okay. <laughs> But at least we may be ahead of the curve a little bit here in understanding why interest rates are rising. Because it's not been in the general media because people are stuck on this inflation. Inflation, yeah, hold on to your assets, exactly. Inflation, inflation, inflation. All right, this, 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 this round is done. Yes, uh, didn't buy and just make a law to tax people. I have no idea, Street Life. I got no idea. Most 401ks you're taxed on when you withdraw your uh, 401k. It's deferred. And then it becomes taxable at whatever your income rate is when you retire. So most people, it's a lower rate. And it provides benefit. But remember, Roth IRAs theoretically aren't supposed to be taxed by government. That's already money that was taxed on an input before it was put in. 
excuse yeah ex yes inflation is the cover story but it's not what's going on underneath the surface okay we sit here tonight at, at uh, 3.5 percent on the 10-year just barely below the level of the peak that we reached in like uh, June I'm not saying we're not going to go down and have some back and forth and stuff, but the trend is to upward labor rates are premium. Everyone good and gonna gonna get their share, man. Get your share. So I just I just provide alternative thought to you. As I look around the world and I read all these newspapers from the South China Morning Post to the Taiwan Daily, to the uh, People's Daily, the newspapers in uh, Europe, the Financial Times, shit going on in South America, <laughs> Australia, that there's a definite unease right now. I heard that just the, all the minerals are going to be sent to China to smell because now it's I don't know why I'm on it. I'm not sure. But nobody sees any need to hold silver and gold because they're looking the wrong direction on why interest rates are going up. It's They're not thinking about a destabilized system. They're thinking about inflation. And they've got everybody's portfolios geared towards that, uh, that direction. Meanwhile, I mean, you got... You got companies that are on the verge of being swallowed up by their debt. I mean, look at look at AT and T, one of the most storied companies in American history. Their stock just continues to go down, down, down. Cut the dividend. All right, competition is too fierce. All right, even uh, even the chairman of Verizon was whining that. Uh, the T-Mobile was false advertising about their senior plans and things like that. Can you imagine a, a, a CEO whining? Usually they would let the PR department handle that stuff. Yeah, the only wood, oh, the only smelter. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, I, you know, silver is silver. Well, the babe, the bubble is popping, T.O., because the jobs that are available are very low-end, are very high-end jobs. All right, take care, Raptor. Take it easy. <clears throat> The bubble has already popped. I think we'll look back at uh, January of 2022 and see that that was the peak of a major, major, uh, major uptrend that had been in place since 1750 or whatever. And now I won't be around to see the full fruition of the downside when that finally comes in you know, 80, year, 80 or 100 years or whatever, I'm glad I won't be around. Yeah, that's good street life. Good for you. You're going to raise rates in the, in the England, and lower in the spring is inflation. We'll, well, they'll be panicking, Rio Bird, but they'll be making, people will want to, uh, all the Fed is doing now is following the market because they're not recognizing that risk in the system is going up. If you look at a chart, and I'll put it on a community post tomorrow, of real short-term interest rates in the market, the Fed is still way below what prevailing rates are on short-term security. So they're catching up. The Fed doesn't. The Fed doesn't lead the market. The Fed follows. Okay, so they can't. They can't stand still, even if they wanted to. Because it's a competitive world, and if they don't raise rates, I mean, how is England going to support the pound? They're going to start raising interest rates, right? 
further depressing their economy to protect the pound sterling, which is what, a dollar sixteen or something like that? Yeah, maybe crow. I mean look at look at Japan, the Japanese yen. What is it? 142? It was a hundred and hundred six. Now it's 142 yen to the dollar. It's a lot of stuff to think about. There's a lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts. See what's, let me see something here. But I did want to show you about um, what's going on with the real estate market right now. <coughs> Is that dog? Oh, he's sitting on the bench over there. Do 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 do. Yeah, the Fed kicks off their September meeting tomorrow. <laughs> <clears throat> Everything is resetting. It will. And the worst moving part is the politicians. There's just... Rio, it's like, how do you wriggle out of it? Tell people work harder, take on another job, pay more taxes, pay down the accumulated debt of $90,000 per American today. People say, oh, what the hell does the debt matter? We just owe it to ourselves. Well, one person's debt's another person's asset, right? You see the downside of a democracy. Yeah, thank you, Trog. China is just a basket case right now, and it's just, it's such a big enterprise that it takes so long. You know, once China begins to slow down, it's, it's, it's like it's a, if the Titanic engine room takes on water and all the boilers go out, right? It's going to take a long time. Yeah, Bitcoin was under 19,000, yeah. And I still don't think there'll be anything to support Bitcoin when it's all said and done. Now, that's made some people aggravated. But I would say so far I'm pretty spot on. I'd say I'm pretty spot on with just about everything that I said was coming is coming and it's unfolding. <clears throat> so we'll have to see. But to expect things to pick up because interest rates are rising is an unrealistic expectation. Because the carrying cost of a car, the carrying cost of a house, the carrying cost of a of appliances and major household purchases, renovations, carpeting. The carrying cost of all of that starts to act like a lever of depressing activity. Uh, me the freight doesn't seem to be as good as it does. Probably not. Do you have a timeline for the demise of Bitcoin? No. I don't. Because it just irritates people, some people here. And there's a lot of people that have been heavily invested in Bitcoin. And don't forget, most of the people that bought Bitcoin bought it when it was at its peak, when it was making news at $55,000 to $60,000 per Bitcoin. Like any market... It attracts the most people at the very peak. It's the only thing that works opposite of the laws of normal economics, where the price of something goes higher normally and we want less of it. Less meat, less groceries, right? But markets act exactly the opposite and perversely so most people are trapped in Bitcoin they don't want to sell 
And the real down move and sustained next down move will be in Bitcoin when people have to sell. Okay, when they need to liquidate to pay for things. Yeah, it's, hey, Darry D, that's exactly what it is. Hello, Momo. Like all investments, people only buy when it gets to headlines. They have no interest in buying when nobody cares about it. When it's on sale, nobody gives a shit. It's like, it's like silver being on sale, right? It's like nobody cares about it. But it still clings like a warrior around the $20 level there. So that tells me that smart people are still accumulating, still putting it aside. Where would you put your cash today? Definitely I bonds, not EE bonds. I'd put in two year, two year, uh, I'd open an account at uh, ustreasury.gov individual and get two year, two year notes. I think you can also have money short term and just, uh, you know, rolling treasury bills over. Six month T bills, one year. Right? <clears throat> yeah, when the elites tell folks to buy, it's because they want out. And yeah, they, they fled too. The rats fled the ship. The guy in Korea liquidated and ran. That's not exactly confidence inspiring. Right? Yeah, you want to be short-term, Jake, and be able to have your money roll with the trend of rates here. Right? It's not really the time to be locking in a five-year uh, CD and things like that. Because we're inverting the yield curve. We have very high short-term and less so in the long-term and long end of the curve. Yeah, become a silver stacker and get as debt free as we can. Yeah, Bitcoin does have a strong feather. Yeah, there's no real strong foundation. When I tell people the story of the 1909 Lincoln Head Penny, the first year of issue, it was minted in San Francisco, and 500,000 of them were minted with the initials of the design, the artist Victor David Brenner VDB on the bottom of the back of the coin and the public and Congress said this is freaking ridiculous that this guy's got his big initials on the back of his coin screw that So after minting 500,000 of them, the government pulls the sculptor's initials off of it, okay, and puts it underneath the shoulder on the front. There were 500,000, like 538,000 of those coins minted in San Francisco. Probably no more than 10% of them survive today, which means maybe 53,000 of those coins survive today. And how many of them are in great condition? Maybe 1%, 2% of them. How is that different from Bitcoin? Bitcoin, there's something that's like 70 million Bitcoin are created. There's only half a million of the SVDB coin. That's 160 times rarer than a Bitcoin. So why would a Bitcoin hold up? Because people say it should. Because it's a non-traceable government asset. It can be moved around. Well, so is my coin. I can walk into a coin shop and walk out with cash. It's a fungible asset. Where was the first penny minted? It never made circulation. I'm not sure. Street life, you got me there. But I'm just saying the 1933 Babe Ruth Gowdy card. 
right? The most big collector series of cards from 1933 during the Depression. I think one just went for six million dollars. Something's only worth what somebody else is willing to pay for it. I don't see any commercials for Bitcoin anymore. I don't see any credit cards being advertised that talk about being related to Bitcoin. I don't see any Bitcoin ads with Tom Brady and other superstars pumping it. Because you'll never generate that level of enthusiasm for Bitcoin again. Just like the stock peak in January of 2022, you'll never generate that excitement to buy stocks again. It will take a generation or two, three, four to ever work up that level of only buy and hold, creating thousands of new mutual funds, the ARC new innovation fund, and hundreds of Vanguard and Fidelities and zillions of mutual funds. Right? All those have to be puked out. As redemptions come in, these funds will have to disgorge their holdings and for the first time in a generation or two, act like a lever to depress prices in the market. As people redeem, It'll create more selling pressure, which will create more redemptions. And it'll take a long time to build up that and reverse that. And it'll come down like a house of cards. All right. Didn't it come to uh, looking to create a digital? No, I don't think it'll happen, Jake, because the level of interest is gone. China said they want, they're never going to allow Bitcoin. That's the second biggest economy in the world. First, you know, soon to maybe be, I don't think it'll ever overtake the U.S. But India is banned it. Korea is banned it. Because they know it can only get them into trouble because there's nothing, there's nothing tangible. And why would the U.S. government want a competing currency? To, to an inflated dollar that they can inflate at will and do what they want. The 1980s Phoenix. <laughs> uh, Chuck E. Cheese. I got tons of them. So when I ask people that have Bitcoin and I say, what's the difference between a, a collector coin a recognized rarity, 1909 San Francisco minted Victor D. Brenner coin certified and graded by PCGS or NGC. What's the difference between that and a Bitcoin? If anything, I got a more established market that's been gone for a hundred years. And nobody's pumping that market. Yeah, somebody asked me, uh, what's the score, PC? Somebody said if I would take Buffalo in the 10, I'd say, hell yeah, right? <clears throat> we just did our, I just sent it six picks to Mr. Z for this week's college. Sugar Cane, how you doing, babe? Buffalo is the real deal. Oh, this look cool, in my face. Yeah, Morgan Silver dollars are wonderful. Yeah, Blondie, I'm just saying, think of anything that's collectible. I mean, silver has intrinsic value as an industrial metal. Yeah, Bitcoin was worth over two times its value. the The total value of Bitcoin has dropped below nine hundred thousand, nine hundred. Nine hundred billion dollars. It's below a trillion dollars now. You tell me where the bottom is. You tell me if more people are going to be selling it on balance going forward, or more people are going to be buying it. You have MSTR Corporation that's that's virtually killed itself because at the very peak of the market they bought shitloads of seventy thousand Bitcoin or something. You have the nation of El Salvador that bought 
shit loads of Bitcoin at 38, 39, dollars of Bitcoin. They drank the Kool-Aid. That's 17 Bitcoin. That's cool. Uh, something to think about, but I'm not here to irritate people because I've got people on my channel that do have Bitcoin and they're, they're believers in the future of Bitcoin. But if I ask them what, what underpins it, yeah, they took all the... El Salvador took loads of their free reserves and put it into Bitcoin at the at forty thousand dollars. Yeah, some people will ride Bitcoin all the way down. The only question you have to ask yourself is will more people be liquidating or buying going forward? If you look at it today you say to yourself, mm, I'm not sure nineteen thousand dollars is a good price to pay for a Bitcoin. Yeah, I know it was 58000 or whatever. You know, probably it might be a good... I don't know, you know. is uh, Am I catching a falling knife here? So you, if you have to struggle to understand the valuation of something, what's the point of owning it? People say, well, what's the difference in the stock? If I have a share of stock in Coca-Cola Corporation... I have an actual share of the physical plant, assets, cash of Coca-Cola Corporation. If they liquidated today, I would probably get two-thirds of the present stock value is the book value of the company. All the real estate, there's something there. I'd hold Bitcoin in the beginning of time. <laughs> Uh, street life. <laughs> uh, too, too funny. I like honest people. Yeah, you're going to always feel a little left out when something is going crazy. Like, oh, we got to buy real estate and uh, Zillow's going into the buying whole blocks and whole groups of house. They ain't buying it anymore. All of a sudden, Amazon stood down. Right, BlackRock's like, let's let's hold up on this a while. They only become interested when something gets the headlines and it becomes overpriced. The people that run BlackRock are no smarter than you are. They follow trends just like you do and think, oh, we should have gotten aboard this earlier. Well, let's go hog wild now totally oblivious to the fact that who's going to be able to afford to carry these homes as interest rates go up? Who's going to be able to pay the rents? Nice, you win. Yeah, you also get a vote and a say in the governance of Coca-Cola. Yeah, you're, they're fools. And people, oh, these BlackRock, they're, these people are geniuses. They're not geniuses. This Kat, Kathy Wood of ARK Investment, she took your money. If you invested any time after 2017, she pissed your money away. And yet she still gets featured on Yahoo Finance. As if we should give any credence to what the hell, well... A loser thinks. Now she comes out and squawking, yeah, a recession is probably coming. Well, you weren't squawking that eight months ago. Everything was a buying opportunity. Everything's a buck, 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 buck. Idiots. Yeah, elite scammers. What's up, Tony? So believe in yourself. You got more common sense than people that run these investment companies. Did tell you in January of 2022 that stocks are a great buy. Despite the fact you can be shown historically that they've never been as overpriced at that moment 
in the history of the world. And you still believe there's upside to that? You think it's easier for General Motors to make money going forward than it is at the beginning of the year? You think it's easier for Amazon to turn a big profit now compared to at the beginning of the year? Look at Meta. What a stupid fucking corporation. That this Zuckerberg develops this virtual world shit. And you know what? That that bird is flown. You only get one great investment. You only get one great decision in life when you're a big time executive. Facebook was that decision. Buy out the Winkle Boss Brothers or whatever. But try developing an encore. Why would Amazon want to get into real estate? Because it's too hard in their basic business to make money. Why do they want to get into healthcare? Because it's harder to sell shit and turn a profit. They're in effect telling you we don't know what to do with the money going forward. We've taken Amazon as big as it can be. Just food for thought on the investment side of stuff. When you see companies moving outside of their their scope of competency and moving into other areas, beware. Why would I want to live in the meta? Yeah, the metaverse. It's 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 a disaster. And Zuckerberg himself has lost seventy billion dollars of personal wealth. Because Facebook has gotten as big as it's going to get. Instagram has gotten as big as it's going to get. YouTube has gotten as big as it's going to get. Google is as powerful as it's ever going to be. And now they'll be managing declining businesses on the downside. Get back to the office. Hey, Amanda. Screw your work at home. Right, those days are gone. We're in a fight for survival now. We're in a we're in a fight for profitability. That's what puts downward pressure on prices when a company like Federal Express comes out and says shipping volumes are dropping. Woo. Didn't see that coming. Oh, let's go see a sunset. Wonder how many more blow-ups are going to be coming. And they don't just take you out a buck or two. They just take you out and shoot you. The whole schmear. Do, 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 do. We might get a little bit of a pink glow. I don't know. Food for thought. Yeah, sugar cane does go hardcore. Hardcore. Let me wipe these windows off a little bit. Ooh. that window try to get that focus 
Let's turn that around and reach. There we go. Oh. Oh, told you last night, Buffalo is the real deal. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, Ronnie, you think um, you think Wisconsin can take Ohio State? Big game coming up. Big game this weekend. Oh, Wisconsin on Wisconsin. Fight, fight, fight. Do, do. Ooh, it's going to be a good game. I actually uh, don't think Ohio State is that uh, is that good. I think that George is the cock of the walk. It didn't really rain today, no. Yeah, when Facebook came out, they had a lot of interest. Now people have learned how intrusive it is. And on balance, they'll tell you that, uh, you know, they'll find some metric that's improving. But we know that the number of uh, eyeballs and people tuned into Facebook is declining. <clears throat> well, it's going to be a big marquee matchup. I told Mr. Z the six games for my outlook for the weekend, so we'll talk about that Thursday evening. We actually have a game, I think, Thursday and Friday this week. Mm -mm. That's it, Facebook Farmville. Did everyone see the incredible rain? I didn't see it. This should really be a beautiful sunset now. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good fireworks show when the uh, pinks come up. We're just about ready to dip below the horizon, and of course, guys, you know that uh, we lose the most light in September of any month. So that's, that's just my thoughts on Bitcoin. Other people will have a difference of opinion about it, and that's fine. But we'll, the only thing we know is that we'll know in the fullness of time. If you ask me, would I buy a Bitcoin? The answer would be no. Mm, yeah, go out, get outside and get in touch with that. It looks different. It does, you know... Um, I noticed that, Sugarcane, I would say the 20th of August, the sun changes, and I'm very, I'm a very perceptive, I'm very aware of my surroundings, and there's something about the light that happens in late August that changes to a more, uh, it's probably the angle of the sun, <clears throat> a little lower on the horizon, so it looks a little more golden. <sighs> it absolutely is different. So it's a time to pause and reflect for, to be grateful for what you do have. And I do, I try to do that every day now. Yeah, enjoy family time. Enjoy, enjoy the little things in life that don't cost money. All right, it's not about who's got the, who's swinging the bigger dick with their truck and their, you know, a hundred thousand dollar Raptor with the full blown, uh, uh, lift kit and stuff. It's it's a bad living life. There's Mr. Z. I gave Mr. Z the uh, setup for the week. Yeah, that's excellent. Just try to send me a picture. Try to take it sideways if you can versus up and down. That's a little easier for me to get the whole uh, whole view of it. Uh, it's it's going to be harder in college football. The lines get sharper now. It's it's going to be a little harder. The low-hanging fruit has been picked. 
Yeah, it's going to look really nice here in a minute. We're going to get that. The deed has been done. Mr. Z is the operations manager. Uh, uh. It's nice to see you, Mr. Z. Might be popping down this week. I'll let you know. I would like to get some uh, real final sun time and everything this year. And uh, try my, try to do a little more uh, horse racing. I want to see if I can work on my baseball a little bit too. My baseball betting is not good. Not good. I've got, I've got a learning curve to do on that. Ooh, ooh. Oh, should we get a train come by any minute? Have you, Mauro Audio says, have you heard anything about the September 24th date and September 30th? September 24th is supposed to be, according to the, uh, the um, scholarly work done on the book of Daniel, that's the date that the, uh, second, uh, the second horseman of the apocalypse war becomes unleashed. Uh, on the earth so we'll see and something like uh, a third of the population has to be reduced or something like this is some really scary shit <laughs> yeah it's gonna I think it's gonna get a little prettier as we go continue to dip down here uh. <laughs> yeah T.O. <laughs> yeah you know, just uh, enjoy you know make peace with the world I have my fingerprinting on September 30th <clears throat> It's hard to say. I'm starting to get a little tingling into my bones. That uh, maybe, uh, maybe China is going to make a move. I don't know. I don't know. But with why should why should global politics and economics be different than street level politics? When the money starts to run out of the system, people start to get pissed. They start to get angry, and they, then they start to do provocative shit. <clears throat> ah. No, I'm I'm waiting for. Uh, I want to wait till the um, Moderna booster comes in, and then I'll get both at the same time. That's right, sugar. Beautiful sunset. Dropping over the Pacific Ocean. It's really nice to see this in uh, September. September's been a good month. Yeah, and to answer your question, pocket change, like I said last night. Buffalo is the real deal. No, my Moderna is not available yet here. They say you can use, I just don't want to cross Pfizer. Uh, I've just gone Moderna 4 so far, so. 
what is your i think it's the first morrow of many of many uh companies that are going to be blowing up because they're tremendously overvalued uh, giving a level of commerce and business going forward uh it's going to be difficult to maintain these valuations and why shouldn't the pendulum swing the other way to go back to 1982 pe's of six times earnings and things why should we uh, sustain 30, 40, 50, 100 times earnings here. Hey, Kenny. The pendulum swings and it doesn't swing. It doesn't stop swinging until it goes all the way to the other direction. That's a very majestic sunset tonight. Yeah, I hope I can get mine soon, too. Hey, Darla. Boy, we're, we're already moving into the blue hour, Shemay. Uh, ooh, ooh, That was a great show, Mr. Z. I guess they're getting. I guess they're figuring you're a regular around there now, right? They're gonna start. They're gonna start banning you at the book. <clears throat> you keep going in cash and tickets every week. <clears throat> Yeah, I've, I'm doing. I'm just doing my one beer a day now, and watching my diet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do 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 do. Hold on a minute. Let me check something here. It needs to be lined up. Robinson in motion. Thing here. Do 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 do. Hold on a minute. What the hell? <sighs> yeah, hold on a minute. This thing right, there we go. I had an adverse reaction when I had my second dose, but that's the body reacting and building up immunity. It's a good thing when you have a reaction. That body is giving your body, that is giving you a mini taste of the disease to your body so it can start to build antibodies. That's exactly the reaction you want. Yeah, where is that being nice? In the East Bay? Yeah, they said we could have uh, lightning. We have, I think we have a cold front. I'm not sure it's a really warm. Yeah, we're going to be warming up into the 90s, I think. Yeah, of course some reactions can be severe, of course. But the percentage is very small. Just like some people are allergic to peanuts, right? Not everybody. And when I was a kid, nobody had a peanut allergy. So tell me the human species isn't weakening. Yeah, I'm doing great. Take care, Jake. Yeah, we grew up. Peanut butter and jelly. Now look at the world.
Well, I got all the vaxes and I never got sick either, so. <clears throat> and I traveled everywhere. Your immune, uh, what your immunity system is, what your genetic structure is. I mean, I'm uh, I'm O negative, which is automatically resistant to uh, COVID, so that's a big help. nice yeah you ought to get that uh, internet fixed you know tell them you're tired of the bullshit let's see if I can get this on without killing the stream here I'm putting the uh, protective case back on here We know what the long-term effects of the disease are, that we do know. So I'd rather risk the long-term of any vaccine and... Oh. I'll always roll with vaccines. Do, 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 do. Oh. Yeah, it's the only time in the history of the world that uh, <clears throat> some measure or percentage of people want to move backwards. Sad. Never thought I'd see it in my life, but... Then again, I never thought that there would be people that said that the world was flat either. Or that we didn't land on the moon. And... What's up, bird? How's it going, bro? Good. That's, what the, that's the gift that the internet has given us. The gift of bullshit. Everybody's an expert. Ooh, 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 Beautiful night. Let's see, I did harvest an eggplant today. It's not as big, I hope it's good. I think that'll, I think it'll be all right. Go get plugged in. Yeah, that's exactly well put, P2E.
to get plugged in. The lights on. Rosie, I got a new phone. I'm so happy. Yeah, the 853, just like I got. It's great. But Rosie, this guy at work, he got a phone, right? He spent $150 at T-Mobile or something. He said, I'm not happy with it, right? He went to Walmart and got a Samsung. I don't know what kind it is, but it look, almost looked like my phone. My phone looks a little better, but his phone looked the same. Well, I don't know. You got better guts inside of your phone. I'm sure, it. of course. You got some nice guts in there. So they just sell plastic outside that looks good and then they put nothing inside of it? Yeah, you can have a cheap phone, but yours oh, yours has very $60, good... Rosie. Yeah, yours has very good stabilization in the Oh, got mine's 5G, I think. And it also has good low light capability, so, oh, really? you know, there's... Much a, better, right? There's a lot of good things to be said about that uh, phone. Hey, Brenda, how you doing, babe? Oh, no. $60. I'm sorry, honey. Okay, wow. I'm so sorry you're dealing with uh, family sickness. <laughs> Let me refresh this. Mama Crow. Mama Crow. We've been waiting for you all day. They've been playing this way all day. Yeah, we just watched the sunset again at uh, oh, Railroad really? Square. Oh, you did? Yeah. I rode on the bike trail. Really beautiful. Go to the bathroom, wash my hands, and we'll be on it. Look at what the wind did. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I hope I had to turn the thing off because of the heat, but thank you, sweetie. What a great supporter of the channel. Oh. Ooh. Let's see. Thank you, Brenda. 
Well, Buffalo, fourth quarter, 41 to 7. Somebody said, Would you be comfortable with the 10 points? Yeah. Yeah. I would. Because Buffalo is an elite team. This weekend we'll test out if Ohio State is really an elite team. Mm -hmm. There we go. What's, where's the skunk? My Beer of the Day program. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mama Crow. Yeah, I've, I've got a few feelers out for Cupcake. <laughs> yeah, they got skunked, all right. going to be a little more challenging, Mr. Z. Yeah, thumbs up or appreciate because the lines get sharper going forward. Yeah, Cupcake runs well. Yeah, I hear you, Brenda. You always have a lot on your plate. Yeah, sign Cupcake and do a raffle. <laughs> Let me this goofy thing. I got posted. Yeah, it's gonna get it's gonna get harder. The lines get sharper. How you doing, Flan? That's really cool, sugar. Pretty soon we'll have to be bundling up for uh, fall. Still plenty of good tomatoes to be harvested. Any of y'all still harvesting tomatoes out there? I will, Crow. Yep. That night I will permit myself to drink more. No, they keep putting more on. Oh, well, thank you, Butter. Thank you, Butterfly. I wanted to pull that out of the live stream and upload that as a, a separate video. I still have another restaurant and uh, metal detecting to come. Mm -hmm.
plants here are still going strong that uh, rain just gave them a new life there's joy the people still wonder butterfly how Lisa Lamb died whether she had a psychotic break or whether somebody was truly after her they had a famous video of her just pushing buttons on the elevator you know Alicia Lamb, yeah. I think she had a psychotic break. And What a way to go, huh? Yeah, I don't blame you, sugar. You want to get the crap scared out of you. Butterfly, that place down there, that block of Main Street is so consumed with rats down there. Hey, Tater, how you doing, beautiful? Walking through there, spinning and, oh, okay. So you might have more of a claustrophobia deal, sugar cane. It's like people that don't, I could never do caving. Not that I'm intensely afraid of small spaces, but I would get no joy out of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be an issue. I remember the story of those brothers that went down that cave in uh, Utah and one made a wrong turn and went through something called the birth canal and the guy got upside down and got wedged and dropped in and they couldn't get him out and the guy just finally died. No, I um, I was burned out on the Queen situation about five days ago, to tell you the truth, Lon. I don't think I don't think here in the U.S. it quite has the um, impact. Someone hung themselves in our basement. Wow. These days they have to disclose that. <sighs> Better go around, fuckers. Go around. With baby socks. Put it inside. Put it inside. Let's see what we got to find on this Buffalo game. What do we got here? You're lucky. I don't want no 41 to 7. What a beat down in Orchard Park, New York, huh? Well, they can actually be sued in civil court for failure to disclose uh, relevant information about a home. Hmm. Hey, June, how you doing? Mr. Z, did you get a hot dog tonight? Must have. They must have had a little bit of a crowd for Monday Night Football there. 
Any exercises, even walking is good. Walking is actually great. Alexa, how Yeah, but the, the chances of bone breakage and that kind of stuff, we ain't no we ain't no kids. I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. I think that we should get together. Try them out. See, na 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 na. La da 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 da. Ooh, you got all that ass. Well, you better hope you fall backwards. Yeah, I know about walking and sugar cane. You should wear gloves. Full biker's gloves when you walk and stuff. Never walk with your hands in your pocket either. I'm not saying you're ugly. That you go do 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 do. I've got something I need. Well, I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. On account of you got a brand new key. Bum 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 bum. I ride my bike, I bust your ass. Do 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 Oh, oh. Judy, how did they react to that beatdown, Seattle in, uh, in San Francisco? How far am I from that motel? 400 miles? 350 miles? Yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm in Central California in the Bay Area. That's nice, Nina. Now you like your bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, biking is good just around here. It's like super duper dangerous. Is baby socks here? They like the organic. Is baby socks here? Yeah, baby socks are Okay. Tomato face skip out a couple days. Yeah, it was it was rare to see Aurora last night though, you know? Yeah, Aurora showed up and she changed the ring. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. I've got something I need. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
comes around. There's another cat? He's a big gray cat. He's a male. Oh, shit. But he only comes like once a week or once every couple of weeks. He just shows up and he eats a little bit and he disappears for another week. Something I need. I ride my bike. I rode. <laughs> hey, socks, you're so cute. I'll put the food inside so I can catch you because you're so fucking adorable. What do you get you? I want you to be rubbing up against my very good side. You've got something on me. I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. A little garlic, a couple yeah. eggs. I think you're a boy cat. Probably boy only needs one. I don't know if we're going to need one or. So I'm going to put an onion in there too. Oh, what's for dinner? I'm going to have eggplant parmesan. Red sauce. What happened to Hopper? Do 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 do. Like spot. I think you got double spot. 
You guys don't know how nice it was to turn off the well pump and shut that down. You're That's avoiding me. Do, 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 do. You got something I need. I ride my bike right. Sometimes the outside can be a little bitter on the eggplant, especially one that's not really big size. And they get bitter when they get too big. All right, so we got that thing stripped down pretty good. I like okra. I wonder how much fuel we have left in the... Let's heat that up a little bit because we're going to be putting the skillet in there. I think we probably only need one egg, right? I've turned on the barbecue grill. Something I need. Fire in the hole. I ride my bike, I roller skate. Do, do, do. Mr. Z's like, you better be cooking at my place when you come down here. Something I need. Put that in there. Get them all coated. Just working this all around to get all that joy juice on it. Probably need a second egg. 
You've got something I need. Well, I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. And you got a Turn that heat down a little bit. Oh, really coated good. We let that sit a minute so all that some of that egg absorbs into the eggplant itself. La da 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 da. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. Oh, chocolate ice cream, really? I'm going to do a little uh, onion up with it, too. Ramsey might hate it, but nuts to him, right? I ride my little bit of garlic in there. Mmm. -hmm. Worked right up, didn't it? Ooh, 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 ooh. And I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. You've got a brand new key. Mr. Z said we better be doing it up. We're putting all of the um, eggplant into the uh, breadcrumbs here. And we're going to make sure that gets all worked around. Each piece gets lovingly coated here. The real deal. Coating that all up. I ride my bike, I roll the street. Just be big enough for one of these babies. Then we just shake these right on top. That's something I need. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Doing it up.
Grizzle of EVOO. Work a little of the leftover egg over the top. We're going to turn this down low. Put a few things away here. We got it in. Doing it up. Smells good. Yeah, thank you, Diane. those onions to lose a little bit of their a uh, little bit of their wang to them. That's looking good. Oh ooh, it's nice to see Miss right. Takes a little wang out of it. Do, 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 do. 
I gotta put the baking stone in. Panko bread ones, they really do a good job. They do a good job of packaging them too. If you had my eggplant, you wouldn't make that face. So this is plugged in. Damn, I wasn't even plugged in here, really? Oh, it's looking nice. Letting those onions sweat down a little more. be a hell of a dish. There goes the beautiful red sauce. Put this lid on a little bit. Firing away, boys. Got that oven, I got that barbecue grill working good. Yeah, I'm on uh, I'm on I'm on one beer a night, so put a little liquid on there too. We want that to bubble a little bit. There we go. We 
but now the crunch is built into the uh, eggplant, so. going to be really good. Helps bring all the vital juices together. <laughs> Just throw some cheese on top and we're ready to put it in a barbecue grill. Yeah, I don't know, Diane. Everything's all really coming together. I think about five more minutes we'll be ready to put the cheese on top and into the uh, grill, she'll go. Your internet's acting ugly. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we're ready to pop that in. She's gonna go in. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, this is hack job cooking. All right, in she goes into the barbecue grill.
going to give that an initial 10 minutes so maybe somebody can set a timer for me for 10 minutes uh oh that didn't look too bad did it All year long we cook outside, Nino. Looking good, Rhonda. Thank you. So we'll let that uh, fire away in there. It'll get a nice crust on top of it. My oh my, what a beautiful night. This is my, my, my beautiful Sunday. I'm really surprised about that P2E. Maybe, uh, maybe the Eagles aren't. I mean, maybe the Vikings aren't as elite as I thought that they were. <clears throat> oh, my. <clears throat> it's a learning moment for all of us. <clears throat> Another reason I don't bet the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know. If they're doing it up against the Vikings, uh, triangulation would tell me that's a pretty good thing. Should be really good to get nice little crispy on top of that baby. Should be a okay. Ooh, uh, oh, ooh. Man, that was a big bug. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Ohio NFL. Yeah, Rhonda, believe it or not, the ground is staying still, honey. At least now. What's the That's looking really good. Ooh, 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 ooh. You can knock this out in about a half hour. It's pretty damn easy.
Nino, I told you, you should raise hell and get that damn shit taken care of with Rogers or whatever the hell is doing that up to you. Man, this bug. Do, 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 do. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, hey. Ready to commence to eat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, well, Brian, we've never seen you here before, so I'm sure you'll figure it out. Brian's only here to troll. That's all. He only showed up. It's uh, it's vlogger puppets. He only came in to cause trouble. First time he shows up right on topic. Gotta love it. Yeah, sure, Brian. Oh, welcome aboard. Oh, absolutely delicious. Got nice and tender in there. Nice and tender. <laughs> A little 
little bit of salt and it's perfect. I'm glad I put that onion in too. Blackbird! Blackbird! Oh, here, here he comes. He just opened another one of his browser windows. Nice to see you, Timmy. Must be a slow night down in um, San Diego tonight. Oh, thank you, Miguel. Notice how they all come in at the same time because it's one person with multiple accounts. Spot them a mile away. This is delicious. Blackbird, do you want some eggplant parmesan up there? Oh yeah, I love eggplant parmesan. Get your plate and get some. I dated this girl and she worked at Luis's, right? And I'd get eggplant parmesan, right? It'd be like, we did stuff. Oh, this is delicious. Hey, Angus. So easy to make, too. Turned out good. Easy to make. Diane gave it to me. I got oh, the, you got fresh eggplants. Yeah, I got the yeah from the garden. Oh, it's good. That's good. I'm gonna go roaring back for more. It's a nice relatively low calorie. Oh, that's wonderful. Enjoy. All right, thank you, Rosie. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you, Diane. Okay. <sighs> Mr. Z was taking care of business tonight. Do it up from the own garden. Mm. It's really nice, Diane. It had panko breadcrumbs and wow, Sarah Kate, that's terrible. Mm -mm -mm -mm.
why don't you stay charging? Do 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 do. Delicious. Doing good, lurker. I don't know, T.O., I thought she was coming down your way down in L.A. down there. I thought you guys were meeting up down there. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, Diane. T.O. wanted to meet up with you. is good 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 blackbird how is it it's very good thank you yeah get the rest of it okay just grab it all there oh, this is good thank you well you should finish up because it's just going to go to waste so i'm good Rosie. okay that's fine thank you oh ooh. yeah that's what uh so you should definitely Drop T.O. Landscaping a email because T.O. is down in the L.A. area. One of your one of your super fans. Mm -hmm. Did you see what I said, Diane? You got a fan right down there in L.A. You got your own fan club. That's, I met Blackbird in Las Vegas. At the Plaza Hotel, no, no, yeah, it's because it was, oh, was it? no, is it the Golden Nugget when, I think when Charlotte was down there. Yeah. Just send T.O. an email, looking forward to meeting you up down there. What a, what a meal tonight. Thank you, EJ. They still do that drag show on Thursday nights. It's a comedy show. Trailer Park Prize. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Why don't you reach out to them and... and um, Tell them that you want to go chooching.
Doggone, that's good. Wow, what a feed tonight. What a feed tonight. Hey John, eggplant parm. Hack job eggplant parmesan. Turned out wonderfully. <laughs> no, Tio just puts it upon himself to uh, tell other people what to do. Which is okay, it's 2022, right? Crowd the dog down. <laughs> I've heard the new phone has problems. Shaking and vibrating. Yeah, I don't like to um, sit around, wait hours to eat. I heard people complain, Diane, that there was nothing new on the apple. Finito, that was delicious. We still got a lot in the pan there, but that's the way it is. Oh. Yeah, that's why I say I can't imagine. I haven't heard of anybody lining up for anything for that cap for that phone. Do, 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 do. I guess there's a certain number of people that just want to um, have the newest and latest and greatest, right? The latest and greatest. Hey, Amy. Well, I got two surprises in football tonight. One, no, one surprise and one not. The surprise was the Vikings tonight. And the no surprise was the Buffalo Bills. Do, 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 I haven't heard any hubbub about the... You know, like they would have videos of people in New York storming the uh, stores. I haven't seen any of those uh, videos. <laughs> well, Judy, it depends if you do video and live streaming. You need to have good... 
you need to have stabilization and Bluetooth capability. I've got a brand new pair of I guess um, it didn't have its usual fanfare. Good night, Amanda. Thank you. That's exactly what they are, Mr. Z. Exactly. Uh, yeah, and I don't know if people are going to line up to just get a, you know, they don't know if they take, you know, if you do a lot of videos, it might be worth it, but if you're just a regular person, I don't know if that's going to have people lining up for it. beautiful night a belly of rancho grown eggplants I don't I don't see myself getting a new phone anytime soon. I'm very happy with the S10 plus I'm glad I got the new screen put on It's like brand freaking new. See you later Elmer <clears throat> I got this one April of 2019 Sometimes you just want to sit and relax. Yeah, they, she even put a new battery into mine, which I thought was cool. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Because the batteries do, they do wear out. Japanese yen at a 24 year low. More home builders, lower prices. This Apple iPhone 14 is the easiest to fix since 2000. It's right to repair gains momentum. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a new thing. It's redesigned the internal structure of the iPhone 14 to allow users to remove and replace both the device's back glass and its screen by removing only two screws. How about that? But the high end ones don't use the new repairable design that's now that's a that's an innovation i 
Apple's iPhone redesign comes as advocates to continue to push for laws that give consumers access to manuals, tools, and parts needed to repair increasingly complicated electronic devices. Advocates call the cause the right to repair, and many states are considering legislation that would force consumer electronic products companies to publish manuals and sell genuine replacement parts. Lawmakers in New York passed a right to repair measure earlier this year. How about that? Gaining, gaining ground on the federal level. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Tomorrow I gotta do all this state tax shit. <laughs> Have to call them tomorrow and be put on hold for ever. June, is that what you use to do your walking uh, tour? Do, 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 do. Yeah, there wasn't any issue with that. That was solid as a rock. No, I don't use H and R block. just because I forgot to check the box saying I had health insurance so these lines Mr. Z got. Let's see. Oh, didn't get a picture. Mr. Z, send me a picture. What's up, Rouge? How you doing? What's up, boss? Can I always do my taxes myself. Oh yeah, send me a picture of them. I gotta see how the uh, lines... I gotta see what we got in... on our lay bets there. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Good night, sugar cane. Night, sweetie. Thanks for coming in tonight. Thank you, sir.
Well, who wants to, you know, they're not going to be beating down a door. I'll be impressed if they get 10% of that number. I'll be impressed if they can hire 10,000 people. Do, do, do. Man, the Vikings really up tonight. Boys really screwed up tonight. So much for elite status. That's why I hate never bet NFL. <laughs> yeah, we put the bets in. Yeah, we went four and two last weekend, Ward. So we're fifteen and seven on the year so far. I'm waiting for Mr. Z to do it up on the records to see what that uh, how we're doing. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure I got it. Oh, let's see. Now I can't get into the damn thing. Uh. Let's see. Good night, EJ. Let's see what we got here. Looks good. Looks perfect, though. Oh, thank you, Mr. Z. <laughs> oh, Mr. Z, how's it going? Yeah, he's in the chat. Blackbird says hi. Yeah, I know. I found that at Rouge when I lost cell service when I went over it. As soon as I crossed the border, despite the lies that uh, Verizon told me, it was Rogers Communication. Welcome to Canada and history. I went everywhere. Canadian Tire to try to get a SIM card to put in. God, there's no such thing as like unlimited uh, data plans there. Terrible. I mean, what do you got to do to get unlimited on the phone? Yeah, I mean, we've had them for eight years. Do, 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 do. Diane, I had two of those uh, patties this morning, those uh, Beyond Meat jobs. Yeah, 10 gigs is nothing. I use like 80 to 100 gigs a month. Yeah, Mexico, I didn't have any issue, Justin, but Canada. Couldn't even buy, just, you know, I mean, I just never even did it. Thank God I was at Planet Fitness and just used their Wi-Fi. Terrible. I had better service in Mexico. <clears throat> Go right into the, uh, right into the convenience store, pop that card right in. They weren't bad. Do, 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 do. They did the job. I had a couple eggs and a couple of them.
Yeah, for, for me, it just wouldn't even be practical. You know, I'd be like, man, I need data, dude. I need freaking data. Capiche? <sighs> Justin. Uh... Well, you don't create content, Juan. I'm not sure. Yeah, I saw Kelly. Big win. I was really surprised the Vikings got that ripped, though. That was my surprise. I guess I'm going to have to remove them from elite team status. But the uh, Bills did more than win. But I was super impressed with the uh, 49ers yesterday. Yeah, I got a great plan with Verizon. They keep trying to get me off of it. called Beyond Unlimited. Yeah, they hammered the shit out of Tennessee, but you could see that coming. But I didn't see the Vikings coming. So that makes me think that the Detroit Lions are even more better than I thought the other day. <sighs> yeah, and I use like 80 gigs, 80 to 100 gigs a month. I mean, when I'm live streaming in 1080p, like in Chinatown, let me tell you, you're chewing ass on data. Uh, 49ers and Ravens. And I, I kind of like the Raiders, too. And I kind of like the Buffalo Bills, only because I'd just like to see them won one Super Bowl. You know, a small market win. You know, I get so tired of baseball, the Dodgers and the Yankees buying World Series. It's just no parity. They wonder why people don't show up at other parks. I don't bet NFL though, Kelly. I uh, I do uh, NCAA. My home team here is the 49ers. I grew up in Baltimore. What's your team, Kelly? Oh, I bet a lot, but I don't bet on Pro Bowl. I reserve the right to, but at this point in time, I... Baby sack!
Iowa Hawkeyes and then NC State North Carolina Tar Heels. I wasn't too impressed with the, uh, North NC State's last outing. It's comfortable here. I mean, we had that really heavy rain yesterday. Mm -hmm. I haven't turned the TV on since the Super Bowl. What happened is the same thing as it's a, they picked up right where they left off, Lon. Zero secondary. Plus, Miami's an outstanding uh, team. I, I actually said when we were talking Thursday night, watch out for Miami. Yeah, yeah, App State. I like App State, but they're not as good as, uh, you know, Troy proved that. I mean, in my mind, Troy won that game. It was just a last-minute Hail Mary that uh, I don't consider that a measure of a team. That's why you can never look at the box score of a game. Cincinnati solid is a rock to Bearcats. Do 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 I just think uh, Georgia's Georgia looks like they could run the table. Ohio State better be watch out. Better watch out for uh, Wisconsin. Yeah, Jiro, what's going on? I'm a little. Yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> Jiro's like, wake the hell up. <laughs> How are you doing, Jiro? Good to see you. Oh, shit. Good night, Justin. Have a good one. Thanks for coming in tonight. Always great to see you. Good to see Jiro, too. I think I've got a uh, box opening tomorrow. Yeah, thank you, Judy. Always wonderful to have you here. You are part of La Familia. Saves for money, short in. That's cool. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing good. Man, I just, I got to watch the highlights of that the uh, Eagles. That's impressive. Makes you think about Detroit. So I got a big day tomorrow. I did get my appointment for fingerprinting for September 30th. And tomorrow I've got to battle the California Franchise Tax Board. <sighs> la 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 la. Yeah, it's a long process. I've made it through the initial stage and now I have to go for fingerprinting. So I don't, at the earliest it would be probably February.
it's, I have to take like a 16 hour course. Back to school. That ain't gonna be cheap. But I've made it through the initial uh, checks. Never, I haven't had any real resistance along the way. I mean, everybody's been very cool. I think they realize the writing's on the wall with the recent Supreme Court uh, decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kelly, I just, uh, you know, I really had high hopes this year. Good night, Flan. But again, Vikings just find a way to break your heart. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be real eager this weekend to see what uh, Wisconsin does against Ohio State. Oh, that's nice, Rude. You just call it right out. That's great. Glad she's enjoying it. Bird really loves his uh, Echo Dot or whatever he's got. They're going to give them a better game than the Vikings did. I mean, based off that Baltimore disaster. Two is a hell of a quarterback. Uh, and his receivers are, whoo, his ability to precisely put the deep ball. I've picked uh, Dolphins as one of the elite teams. Dolphins, Bills, I had Vikings in there, but uh, no. Well, every every team in the Central Division lost in the AFC. <laughs> Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, uh, Cincinnati. Um, yeah, I guess for a betting interest, Kelly, I would try to pick it up. And uh, probably college basketball. Again, I, I just can't get up for pro stuff. Just the lines are too sharp in pro basketball. Well, if I'm going to talk about it, it will, it'll, you know, it'll cover everything you probably want to hear, Kelly, but it would have a betting angle on it, too. For those that care to, I don't think sports betting's legal in Canada. Good night, Diane. Good to see you. Yeah, did you see the report that came out today that said it doesn't matter what time you eat, uh, what time you eat. Oh, okay. That's probably a good thing. It's a lot easier to influence college kids and wave a little money in front of them. Oh, okay, Ward. I had no idea. Interesting. Pro line. Oh, that's cool, Kelly. For me, having a bet on something puts a little wind underneath, a little, little air under the wings. We bet very small anyway. 
But I will be here Thursday night for upcoming weekend. But I'm really looking forward to Wisconsin uh, and Ohio State. We'll see if Ohio State's the real deal. me for yawning. I'm going to think I'm going to close it out too, guys. It's going up to about uh, four hours here. I have a feeling I'm going to be battling the California tax office tomorrow. <laughs> Your estimated wait time is one hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get myself some rest. Rhonda, great to see you, sweetie. I adore you, as you know. Thank you to my wonderful moderator, Shemay. I saw Jody in here tonight. Thank you so much for everything that you do. And uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for being with me as we did the hack job Parmesan. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your evening. I've got the first restaurant review coming in the morning. It's going to roll and then got a box that came in. So we shall see. All right, guys, have a wonderful one. Ooh, 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 ooh.